Brown Seniors, a program for and about older adults in our community. And before we get going with this month's show, I just want to say a huge thank you to the folks here at TCTV. Um, you probably realize it, but we tape the show and do it the month prior to it being seen. So this is our August show. This right now, I'm in July, and they're having this big summer camp for kids that are interested in television and production. So the crew here kind of had to clean up from the summer camp to get ready for us, and I just really appreciate all of their hard work that they do so that we can come to you and tell you what's going on at senior services and in the community for seniors. And I'm really excited because tonight I am going to be introducing one of our newest staff members, Molly Noble. Welcome, Molly. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are so welcome. I tell you, my heart is just singing because you <laughs> are at Senior Services for South Sound. I'm so happy to be there. Well, tell me, a, tell, well, I know, but you're, tell, tell me a little bit about where you came from prior to coming to Senior Services. What um, were you doing? Well, I lived in Portland and mm -hmm. um, I just recently, I got married a year ago and my husband and I were looking to find more affordable housing like a lot of folks out there. Um, and so Portland was just getting to be a little bit more of a big city and, and a little more expensive. And so we thought that Olympia would be a great place to start a family and put down roots. Great. Um, so I was working in adult day uh -huh. in Portland um, doing case management down uh -huh. there. So. Wow, I bet that was interesting. It was, yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I bet you met some characters. I know our adult day program, we have a lot of wonderful characters. Yes. Did you, did you in Portland too? Yes, every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Well, I just feel really blessed that you've arrived in Olympia and that mm -hmm. we have you now. And we hired you to be the volunteer coordinator at mm -hmm. first. So how has that been? You've just been here a few weeks. Yeah. How's that been so far? It's been going well. We've been getting a lot of applications, which is nice. Um, and a lot of different interests of volunteers. Um, so if, a, if individuals who are watching would like to volunteer at Senior Services for South Sound, our website is southsoundseniors.org and there's a link to the application. There's also paper applications if folks aren't online um, that can be picked up at the Lacey Senior Center or the Olympia Senior Center. Mm -hmm. um, and so the volunteer opportunities are, include Meals on Wheels, drivers or riders, um, we have um, the senior nutrition program for working in the kitchens. Um, we have supportive services. We're always looking for volunteers. Um, the volunteer coordinator, I'm always looking for volunteers. Um, and then the sites are at Lacey and Olympia, but also Belfair and Yelm and Shelton. Uh -huh. um, the STARS program also is always seeking volunteers. Um, that's mm -hmm. the adult day program in um, Shelton and Lacey. So you get it's kind of fun. You get to meet a lot of people, and they must be good people because they want to give of themselves. They do. They do, and they're so committed to serving seniors in the community. So uh -huh. that's the one thing I, they have to. There's a portion of the application where they have to say, you know, what what drew you or your interest to senior services, and they all say, I want to do anything I can to help seniors. Oh, that's so really it's neat. It's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So is there any particular need that's really a burning need right now um, in terms of volunteers? I would say um, the upcoming special events that we have are the ones that we're seeking the most, the auction in on um, August 16th and then September 16th, 16th, September 16th and yeah. then um, Oyster Fest in October. Uh -huh. um, and that's a full weekend event where we grill a bunch of delicious shrimp uh -huh. or fry a bunch of delicious shrimp right. in Shelton. Um, so if anybody's interested, I would encourage them to get in touch with me. I'd be happy to talk to anybody about volunteer opportunities. Okay, great. So then we noticed that you mm -hmm. were so competent and so <laughs> amazing at um, just working with people. You've got some great people skills. Um, wondering what else can we make her do? Because the volunteer piece was only a half-time position. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, ooh. Supportive services. Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful program that's kind of a, a catch-all, but yeah. yet it's a very important catch-all yes. <laughs> of many, many things that we do from su different support groups to just one-on-one -on -one assistance mm -hmm. of people to home sharing to mm -hmm. Sheba. 
and we needed somebody to kind of pull mm -hmm. that together. Yeah. So you got the job. I did, and it's, it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> There's never a dull moment. <laughs> that is true. In fact, some, do you ever feel like you're kind of in the middle of one of those revolving doors? Yes, yeah. yeah in a hotel but hopefully lobby. I'm more of in the eye of the hurricane yeah. and I can stay calm <laughs> and help instead of feel, ah. But, but yeah, it's been it's been really a great joy to be able to help people since I'm new to Olympia or new to Thurston County anyway. Um, it's been a great opportunity for me to learn what the the supportive services are in the community, and we really live in a community rich with um, services. But a lot of people don't know about them. It's hard to get connected, and sometimes organizations aren't aren't very transparent about what their services are so mm -hmm. I'm excited to get to know them so that I can better explain them to people who have questions or who have needs um, right. for housing or you know even something like landscaping or moving right um, just having a little yard work done so. yeah and a lot of people don't know who they can trust mm -hmm. you hear horrible yeah. stories about yes. seniors that are taken advantage of yeah and I so. think a lot of people and a, a lot of companies in Olympia that provide those services are very senior friendly and often willing to, to discount services. So. Right, right. One of the things we do frequently on our show here is feature some of the folks from the Senior Action Network because mm -hmm. I have found that those business owners and people really do have a heart and yeah. kind of the right um, kind of integrity mm -hmm. for working with seniors. Mm -hmm. So. It's really nice to be able to refer folks to them that we know we can trust and that yeah. the seniors can. Well, I look yeah. forward to watching on upcoming episodes That's of right. the show. <laughs> You'll find out all kinds yes. of things. <laughs> so what are some of the phone calls or people that have come? What kind of needs do people come to supportive services with? Right now, we're getting a lot of calls um, regarding housing. Um, rents are are being raised, um, you know, sometimes someone will have a financial hiccup that, you know, changes their monthly income and then makes them not able to live, um, or somebody might get an eviction notice. There's all kinds of things that happen. A lot of, a lot of folks are selling their homes that were rentals now because uh -huh. of the housing market, which, you know, puts somebody out sometimes with only a 30-day notice. Uh -huh. um, so housing, I would say, is the number one supportive service call that we're getting. Um, but I also um, sometimes, you know, calls about how do I um, get hooked up with services for, um, I'm looking for a, a new living situation for my mom uh -huh. or for my husband. Uh -huh. um, and it's, you know, they've had a, maybe a change in their care needs and not knowing, you know, if, the, if they're looking for a facility, which facility is kind of a good one. Right. Um, or if they're looking for just a care home, which are the ones that, you know, are really, um, are really caring places to live and really mm -hmm. warm and friendly environments. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, and, I mean, and then the other moving, I need help moving stuff into a storage facility. Right. Um, I need, I need help. Um, just I got a call about a lady wanting to know if somebody could pressure wash her driveway. Uh huh. So just we need a team of roustabouts. Yeah, that's what we, <laughs> we need. <do. laughs> uh, well, so, I know yeah. our care connections sometimes have yes. people that will do things, but I, I think having a crew of volunteer roustabouts then that would be just like people that would do stuff like that. I think you're onto something. Yeah. I'll have to retire and, <laughs> and recruit a bunch of people to, <laughs> to do that. Uh, and then our home share program is really something that um, we should showcase on the show. Yeah. Um, it's for home seekers and home providers. Um, there's an application to fill out if you're interested in sharing space with somebody who's willing to provide the space in their home. Uh -huh. um, oftentimes the, the rent or sort of the monthly fee that gets negotiated is more affordable for seniors, and it's really a program designed for seniors to age in place, right. um, to not, you know, to be able to have some supports uh, and some company and some uh -huh. engagement with another person who's willing to open their ha their yeah. home. And yeah. oftentimes, the person that's opening their home, it benefits them too because there's a break in their mortgage, or you know, maybe right. they're lonely as well and just right. looking for some companionship. Yeah. Um, well, I'm really thrilled. I have a dear friend that's yeah. just making a match right now mm -hmm. in the home share program. And yeah. she's 80 years old and she lives out in the country, just to, has a lovely home and a lovely mm -hmm. estate is the wrong word, but property mm -hmm. around her house. And um, 
She has an upstairs. She doesn't really go upstairs anymore. Right. So she has an upstairs, and she's been matched with a lady. And my friend has two little dogs, and this lady that's moving mm -hmm. in has two little dogs, and they all get along really well. And the dogs really got well. along? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> the dogs got along. And um, I'm just really glad that my friend won't be so lonely. Yeah. Um, and isolated yeah. and I'm really glad that the woman who needed a home because she was evicted through no fault of her own but mm -hmm. her place was being sold or yeah. something where she yeah. was and she only had a short period of time mm -hmm. to find a place and it's so hard yeah. with a limited income and with pets it's really makes it challenging it for for people much less seniors mm -hmm. to find a good living situation yeah, yeah. so well, it sounds like you've got a lot on your plate, though. I do, but how, it's all very fun, and yeah. I love the work that I'm doing. Yeah. So how do you manage wearing a hat as the volunteer coordinator here, but then also wearing the hat of running this kind of important program with a lot of different moving parts mm -hmm. to it? Um, I think overall, the it's a nice combination because the, the volunteers being down in sort of in the mix of people at the Olympia Senior Center in the lobby area mm -hmm. so I can get to know them and kind of get to better understand their needs and then if I see a volunteer who's just really looking to sit and have one-on-ones with with individuals then mm -hmm. I can say aha I know exactly the group for you yeah um, so I think it, I think it's just nice as I get to know all of the different programs then I can figure out kind of which volunteers are are going to be you know, best suited uh -huh. for different areas. And right. so in that way, I think I have an advantage of wearing both hats um, because I'm not just doing the volunteer coordination and right. then sending them to a supervisor. It's right. really, it's more holistic. Yeah, so. yeah. I think you'll do a really I hope so good anyway. job. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have you back in a few months. And okay. We'll see if, you're, okay. if you have any hair left <laughs> in your head, in. you haven't pulled it all out. Or <laughs> so what made you decide that you wanted to work with elders in the first place? I mean, your prior job working yeah. with the yeah, adult worked, day program. And I've worked with seniors for about the last 10 years. Um, and I, my grandma had Alzheimer's disease for about as long as a person can have it, about 20 years oh in goodness. total. Wow. Um, and, and had a really strong heart. So she just kind of existed for a while with very little quality of life. Uh -huh. um, and so I, would, I visited her in her nursing home. Mm -hmm. And so I just, from a very early age, hung out with seniors. And uh -huh. I'm also an only child, so I was always kind of a little adult. Mm -hmm. um, but I just always felt more, almost more comfortable around seniors than around people my own age. Uh -huh. um, and then I heard about gerontology, and so that's what I pursued my master's in. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I, I think I think that should be infused in every in every curriculum in schools because at, we're all aging, and it's Definitely. it should it shouldn't be its own discipline. It should be in all disciplines, uh, so we know how you know how how to do better by seniors. Yeah, yeah, I think that you're right. Yeah. And we're if we're lucky, we're all going to age. So yes, and also. Our parents will age, mm -hmm. and then we have to deal with our parents yeah. as they age, or yeah. aunts and uncles and family members. So yeah, and then the sandwich generation, which might have a, a, a you know, an, a young adult or an adult child uh -huh. with some with a disability, and then right. an aging parent who you know maybe will get dementia or will have some increased need. Right. Um, they're really in a hard spot, yeah. having to um, manage both of those generations on either side. Right. Right, yeah. Well, Molly, we are really, really fortunate to have you. On I'm our the lucky team. one to be here. <laughs> well, it's just great to have you, and um, I think your enthusiasm for the work you do just kind of lightens my heart, which is been wonderful. And um, I just let us know if we start to put too much on you. Say, I will. Wait, wait. I will. I'm only one person. <laughs> I will. Okay. All right. Thanks for having me. Okay. And I'm going to give you an assignment. Okay. So as you are visiting with people and getting to know folks, one of our goals with South Sound Seniors, the show, mm -hmm. is to invite seniors that have a story to tell <gasps> oh, on okay. to the show to talk about themselves, their lives, what they've done. Okay. Because I have a theory that a lot of people who maybe aren't that familiar or 
are around seniors that much are a little put off by, mm -hmm. you know, oh, I wouldn't have anything in common with that yeah. older person yeah. or what have you. And just to kind of break open some seniors' lives as interesting and... Um, That's a great idea. Yeah. So if you're out there visiting with folks, okay. let me know who I should invite to be All right. on. All right. Will do. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. So we're going to leave Molly here now, but we'll be heading down to the Senior Center to find out what's going on with trips and tours, so please stay with us. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show this month. We had a good time putting it together for you, and we look forward to seeing you again next month. Again, a huge thanks to TCTV and the great crew of staff and volunteers. They are the ones that make it possible for us to bring South Sound Seniors to you. So have a great month.